get a special exemption from the FAA? What? Special exemption from the FAA? Yeah. So what is the uh, capacity of oil in this thing? 37 gallons on each side. Gallons, not four gallons. Gallons. Wow. We don't usually put that much in. We usually run around 32 when we go across country. Right. We run around 25 or 6 when we're just doing local hops around right home. So is this is this the executive suite that was silver and the, there's a picture of Jimmy Doodle in? Pardon? Is it Jimmy Doodle was in this yeah, one? He sat in the actual cap machine. Yeah. 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 It was a different paint job we had on it. Back, right. That was back in the 70s. Yes. I saw the picture of the uh, yeah. silver one. They all crashed. Yeah. All ran. Out of all gas. 18 of them. Yeah. They all all ran out of gas and crashed. Some of the guys, uh, few were killed in the crash. Most survived the crashes. And uh, some were captured by the Russians, and some were captured by the Japanese. Most of them ended up somewhere in China, and uh, Chinese locals didn't like the Japanese because the Japanese were trying to invade China. So yeah, they, yeah, they, they helped that, yeah. a lot of the new little guys escape back to friendly forces, and that's how they survived. That's one of the big things about the reunion coming up next week, that some of the families, descendants of the people, from China are going to be over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. As well as some of the descendants of the people who were on the Hornet. Okay. Some of those are going to be here, too. We first say they've had all three groups together. Awesome. Yeah. And we got... These are each other. So what was the horse on the back of it? Pardon? What was the, the, the insignia for the I'm horse? I'm not sure. They're out of Texas. Are they? The CAF holds that of horse. And you guys are where out of where? We're out of Camarillo, California. Oh. The 4308801. Watch self. Is that typical for it to backfire? Yeah. They pop and snap, make all kinds of noises. That's mainly because the exhaust stacks are like from here to there. There's no muffler. Oh, really? The exhaust stack is about this long, right out of the cylinder. So, really? That's why they're so loud, and that's why they pop and snap and stuff. Those things expand and contract. What about that yeah, yeah, exhaust that. muffler up there? What? what? What is that right there, then? That's a collector ring for the upper cylinder. Oh, okay. They all get collected in one spot, and the lower ones each have an individual stack. Awesome. 14 cylinders up there. So how can I get involved in something like this? Pardon? How can I get involved in something like this? We're a, we're a volunteer organization. Most of the people that have them belong to museums or some kind of a foundation like that. Mm -hmm. All I gotta do is pull your old piece out. How much time do you usually put into it? Well, we usually work on it three days a week. I'm sorry? We usually work on it three days a week. Evenings after, after your after regular, regular job? Or? Week, so. Well, yeah, there's always something to do. We could work on it more than that if we wanted to. Right, right. But most of us are retired from one business or another. A lot of these guys are retired airline mechanics. Well, they all have A&P licenses. Oh, awesome. Yeah. We got to go in because one's coming out. So this this one doesn't give rides, right? Pardon? This one doesn't give rides? Yeah, this one gives rides. Oh, really? You a table in there. You go on in and ask for the executive suite, guys. They're like the second one in on this end. Okay. They'll be happy to sign you up. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time, sir. You going to get signed up, Carl? I ain't got $450 laying around. Are you kidding me? My wife would kill me. <laughs> and that's the truth. They got they got people this one. Yeah, they're take, they're going up in the flight. We got six minutes left. I'm gonna shut this off and then do the preparatory 